Yo, good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Today, James Harden got traded to the Clippers. The Clippers, bro. I would never, I never would have expected for Harden to go to the Clippers. Dang, it was just like a, it was like an out of nowhere trade because I was watching the regular season. And I was like watching the 76ers. I was like, oh, it's, where's Harden? I didn't even know where Harden was. But let's see what uh, Chris Smooth has to say about this trade. Clippers. After all that complaining. And, and the, the thing things. is, is like, like with the Nets, where it's like, dang, back then, imagine if AD, Kyrie, and Harden were all in their primes playing for the Nets. That's like the same thing here. You got Kawhi, Paul, George, Westbrook, and Harden. Tell me that's not an instant ring. Like, you would think that years ago. He pulled. He actually ends up going exactly where he wanted. Now, that's some BS. But here are the trade details. <laughs> it happened in the middle of the night. 2 a.m last night or this morning but they didn't say who he got traded for now we oh know, true here's the players the clippers are going to send batoon marcus morris robert covington kj martin two future first round picks two second round picks and one pick swap for james harden and pj tucker those Dang. are the quality of players that the sixers were holding out for in the press and the public they were talking about they want a superstar so they didn't quite get that, but they did get two first round picks for Harden. So it's not really a bad trade. And the players they got are good. They're just veterans. They're a little bit older, but they're pretty good players. I don't think that trade helps the Sixers win a championship. Yeah. The draft picks are going to help the future. But I mean, never know. I mean, unless, you know what I'm saying? I've seen Maxi go crazy. So it could be like a Maxi and MB duo just. You know what I'm saying? Make it going going crazy and in the playoffs. He's gonna want out of there. But still but is going on with other comp I mean, too. You know what's gonna happen over there. So you know, the we don't know how well they would do. Wow, they just added Harden into the mix, and they didn't have to get rid of the core. And I don't really know what crazy. to think about this trade I, because I don't know, the Clippers bro. for the last few seasons they've had a very talented roster. They've had a good collection of guys. They still got Harden West, to the Clippers, Kawhi, bro. Paul George. It's very interesting. Will it like work? like what if like what if they all just feel like going crazy again? Like oh yeah, we're you know what I'm saying? Like they could have two they could have two superstars the whole game if everyone is healthy. Like you know what I'm saying? Or do like some rotation or whatever. I don't know. There might be too much load management going on. It hasn't worked in the last few seasons, even though we saw it work in action on the Raptors when Kawhi won that championship out of nowhere. That was impressive. <laughs> so maybe it can still happen. No, and he now, made that Harden in his mouth? Third, Dang. Maybe even fourth option sometimes on this Clippers team. So it might be a problem. This could be very dangerous. It really does depend on Kawhi Leonard. Is he going to play or not? Because if he gets injured, yeah, it's not the same team. If Paul George gets injured, and that's what's happened it, the last few seasons. It's literally going to be like all these players, but we're only going to see like two after all the or one. And him not going to training camp and then showing up late and then missing games and doing all these things. And he still ends up right where he wanted in L.A., Wow, Laker. Hold on, he might go crazy though. Like maybe, maybe the 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 clubs in Cali go crazy. Some cheese, chime in, and everybody leave your predictions he didn't like in the in comment Ph section. In Philly. Will it work or will it not work? Here's the NBA update. I got a lot of questions. I don't have permission this year to use the NBA footage. That's why I haven't been doing the highlights every night. And it's not the NBA's fault. It's the team in the middle. They were making noob moves. What they have been doing this year is unacceptable. So that's why I haven't been able to let it fly because the licensing is not there this year. Mm. I didn't just abandon it. I didn't just say, hey, I'm not doing NBA anymore. I would love to do it, but I don't have the licensing. If you don't have the licensing, you can't let it fly. There's even shows on TV where they talk about the NBA and they don't they're not able to use the footage either. They don't have the license. They just talk about it without showing you what's going on. My song yeah, bro, with like Lob City. Come on, NBA. My... All right. They got to be for the people. But without further ado, please leave a like. 
subscribe and peace.